What's up, HasFit Tribe? It's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a hit workout with weights. We're gonna to perform today's routine Tabata style. So that means we're gonna do four back-to-back -back rounds of each exercise. 20 seconds of work, followed by 10 seconds of rest. The only equipment required for today's workout is a pair of dumbbells, and the weight that you use is dependent on your fitness level. You can follow along with me for the standard moves. And you can follow me for some easier modifications. If you're ready to go, let's get this thing started. All right, let's begin with our warm up. First one up today is going to be a straight leg kick plus chest stretch. So feet shoulder width apart, arms out to our side, palms facing forward. Now at the same time, we're gonna perform a straight leg kick and bring those hands together and stretching your chest as you bring those hands back. Alternate each leg. And again, keeping that leg straight as we bring it up. It's gonna stretch out that hamstring and back of the leg. And with our upper bodies, we're opening our arms up nice and wide, stretching out those shoulders and our chest. And of course, as we always tell you, this is a warm up pace. And if your kick is down here and you're getting a good stretch on those hamstrings, then that's completely okay. That's right. Don't sacrifice bending at that knee just to get your, your leg up higher because it's gonna really defeat the purpose. Making sure to breathe here, not counting any reps. Just moving at a good warm-up pace. Purpose of this warm-up is to get your heart rate up and at the same time, increase your overall body temperature, gain a little bit of added mobility along the way. Let's do this one for the last 10 seconds here, right then left, keeping our balance for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, moving right into the next one. We're gonna do an overhead swing plus butt kick. So palms are facing inward, swinging both those arms straight up overhead. And at the same time, alternating, bringing that heel back to our glutes the best we can and performing a butt kick. Doing some efficient compound moves today. Getting the lower body and upper body warmed up at the same time. And as you're going through this, you'll probably find that your shoulders and your legs get a little looser. You get a little more range of motion on every repetition. Be a little more comfortable getting those arms up higher and getting that foot back a little more. Keeping good balance. And again, focus on that breathing. Not much left on this one. Let's go five, four, three, two, one, zero. Shake out those shoulders. We're gonna move to the floor for the last one in the warm up and get into a downward dog position. So we're gonna be on all fours on our hands and our feet. And then let's drive our hips back, feeling that stretch in our hamstrings as we relax the shoulders. And we're gonna step up with our right leg outside of our right hand and do a frogger step. And now let's step back into that downward dog, stretch those hips back. And now let's step up into a frog or step with that left leg. And repeat, alternating between right and left leg, coming forward with that back straight, and then driving those hips and glutes backwards. Side to side, another great compound move here. Stretching out everything from your calves, hamstrings, glutes, lower back, shoulders. Hips. Hips, all at the same time. Good, again, making sure to breathe throughout. Not a race, just a dynamic warm up move here. Getting our bodies ready for this work we're getting ready to do. It's a good time here to start thinking about what brought you here today, what made you hit that play button, whatever that reason is, whatever your why is, I want you to stay focused on it throughout today's routine. Keeping this one up for just five, four, 
three, two, one, and zero. That's it. Warm up complete, Ooh. feeling nice and warm, feeling warm. Oh wow, yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> feeling good. Okay, we are gonna need our dumbbells for the first one, so go ahead and pick up your two dumbbells. And we're gonna get started with a seesaw row. Feet are gonna be shoulder width apart. We're gonna bend over at a 45 degree angle. We're gonna pull back on alternating elbows. Right elbow pull back, left elbow pull back. And you're gonna get as many repetitions in as you can in this allotted 20 second time period. I'm Take ready. a 10 second rest and then right back at it. Let's do it. All right, here we go. And five, four, three, two, one. Get it cranking. Head stays in line with your spine. Again, pulling back from those elbows, not pulling back from the hands. And by doing so, we're gonna make sure you're engaging the right back muscles. Keep that back straight, weight in the hips. In three, two, one, break. All right, so it's just a quick Ooh. 10 second break here. And you'll find throughout today's routine, these breaks are gonna go by fast. Yes, they are. You only have three, two, one, left let's all right. go all right hit it again getting as many in as you can pushing yourself because nobody else is going to do it for you let's go this one's working your lats your biceps your forearms even your legs a little bit as you maintain this position all right guys here we go in three two one break excellent all right shake those arms loose if at any point in time you need to switch up your weight we encourage you to do so absolutely here we go two one, begin. And get it going. Keep that head in line with your spine, so we don't want your head up like this, but instead that head stays in line with your back. Seesaw, left and right, let's go, come on. Get it cranking, how many can you get here? Keep pushing that pace, let's go Has Fit Drive, almost there. In three, two, one, break. Excellent, all right, just one, one more. One last one in this first exercise. Again, these 10 second breaks going by quick. All right, tribe starting now. And begin. Go, 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 come on. Push in that pace. How many can you get? Last set right here. Nice neutral spine. Starting off with the banger here. Pulling back on those elbows. How many can you get here? Last 20 second set, let's go. That's right, not much left. And three, two, one, break. Excellent. Okay, so I'm gonna switch up my weight for this next one. If you wanna keep the same weight, keep feel in mind. free to do so. Yep. Um, but we're moving into an, a little combo move here. We're gonna do an iso split squat plus hammer curl. So we're gonna go ahead and start in a staggered stance. We're gonna drop that back knee. I'm dropping my back knee to a, uh, a 90 degree angle. And I'm gonna go about halfway here. And then we're gonna perform a hammer curl, just holding this position, palms are facing inward. All right, again. <laughs> My legs are burning thinking about it. <laughs> All right, let's get it started. And three, two, one, begin. Again, you choose the depth that you feel comfortable with on this ISO split squat. Palms are facing in, performing that hammer curl, cranking them out right here. Getting as many in as you can. Five seconds. Keeping good posture. Three, two, one, and break. All right, so that was the first set. In the second set, we're gonna put a different foot in front. So switch your lead leg. That's right. But same move here. So for us, our right is going in front. And? And begin. Begin. Again, dropping that back knee, keeping good posture. We're just holding that isometric position here. So one's working your hamstrings, your quadriceps, your glutes, biceps, and your forearms. You'll notice through today, we're getting a lot of work in a short period of time. And three, two, one, break. Whew, up. And oh. yes, the legs are already starting to catch on fire. Thing with ISO. That is by design. All right, switch that lead leg again. All right, guys, in beginning, two, one, now. Crank them out, here we go. One right into the next. And again, at any point in time during the workout, if you need to switch up your weight, we encourage you to do so. Lighten it, make it heavier, whatever it is, make this workout work for you. And three, two, one, break. Whew, all right, three down, Whew. one to go. Getting it cranking today, at least Tabata workouts. Don't get too comfortable. <laughs> Starting again in three, two, one, let's go. And let's do it. Pushing through that burn, fighting through it right here. You're stronger than that burn. Focus on what brought you here, not that pain. Let's go. Palms stay facing inward. Keep it moving, keep it moving. How many can you get? 
in three, two, one, break. Excellent. Okay, let's keep just one dumbbell for this next one. And I'm losing my dumbbells altogether. We're gonna do an overhead jack neck. So start with those hands by our chin, feet are together. We're gonna press our arms overhead, jump our legs out at the same time, and then return. So it's like a jumping jack variation. Again, you decide if you wanna use the weight or just go body weight. But either way, let's get it moving. In three, two, one, begin. Getting as many in as we can here. Nice, soft ground touches. If you have neighbors underneath you, we don't want them to hear you. Stand light on the balls of those feet. Keeping a slight bend in your knees as well. In three, two, one, break. Excellent, this one's gonna Ooh. get your heart rate up quick. Yes, I love jumping jacks. Again, you decide if you wanna use a weight or not. All right, here we go. In two, one, begin. There we go, now we're feeling a little more comfortable with the move. Start cranking them out right here. How many can you get? Pushing yourself right here. Looking in the mirror, that is your competition. Keep it going, keep it going, almost and there. three, two, one, break. Excellent, okay, two down, Ooh. two to go, halfway down with this halfway. one. Halfway. A couple of nice, big, deep breaths here. All right, and, and right back two, into it. one, begin. Come on, let's go. How many can you get right here? 20 seconds is nothing, let's no, do it. that's it. Come on, remember those who believe they can and those who believe they can't are both right. Which one are you? Five seconds, tribe. Prove it to yourself. In two, one, break. Ah, excellent. Ooh. Three down, one to go. We're feeling it right there with you. All right. Sweating along with you. Starting in three, two, one, begin. Come on, let's get it going. Last one. If you started with the weight and you need to drop it, feel free to do so, but just don't stop moving. Don't hit that pause button, keep working right here, right now. Five seconds, tribe. And two, one, break. Ah, excellent. All right, we're moving to the floor for the next one. We need just one dumbbell. I'm gonna increase and get a little bit heavier dumbbell. So am I. And we're gonna lie down on our backs. We're gonna do a hollow body, one arm chest press. So let's go ahead and start with those legs out. First thing we're gonna do is tuck that chin. And we're gonna bring those shoulder blades off the ground. I'm gonna put my legs out straight. And I'm gonna have my knees up. Now with that one arm performing a chest press, you decide if you want your legs straight or take a little pressure off your abs and have your knees bent. Either way, let's get it going. In three, two, one, begin. Keeping good balance just by pressing that one arm, it forces you to engage a lot of extra ab muscles, get that stability going so you don't fall off to the side. Full range of motion on that press. All the way up, all the way down. Three, two, one and break. All right, so legs down, rest. Just for a few seconds here, switching arms. Putting that dumbbell in our left arm. Here we go, in two, one, begin. And begin, again, getting as many repetitions in as you can. Trying your best to keep that lower back glued to the floor. And if you're having trouble doing so, go ahead and bend those knees. Keep it going, let's go. Driving through that palm. In three, two, one and break. Excellent. <sighs> Couple big deep breaths here. Two down, two to go. Let's go, Hasfit right. Tribe. All right, beginning in three, two, one, begin. This one's working our abdominals, our chest, shoulders, and triceps, all working together to make this one happen. Make sure to keep that power through your elbow as you press straight through that dumbbell overhead. In three, two, one, break. Ooh, I'm feeling Ooh, my abs engaged one on this one. more to go. <laughs> one more. I feel it working, Hasfit Tribe. Right. Last one. Here we go. In two, one, begin. Again, being sure to keep that lower back glued to the floor. And if you're having too much strain in your neck, it's probably because it's a little too much on your abs. Feel free to go ahead and rest your head down. But otherwise, keep it up, and it's going to keep those abs engaged and contract. Not much longer. In two, one, break. Excellent. All right, we're on our feet for the next one. And we're gonna need two dumbbells. We're gonna do a power pull, either with the jump or without. You decide which. 
feet are shoulder width apart. We're gonna put that weight back in our hips, slight bend in the knee, go down into a hang. And we're gonna pull up explosively on those elbows and I'm gonna come up and jump. And I'm going to do a pull. Just coming up onto the balls of her feet. Correct. You decide which variation is right for you. Let's get it going. And three, two, one, zero. Back is straight. Big power. Pulling those elbows straight up, either onto the balls of your feet, or if you feel comfortable doing so, go ahead and get some air and actually jump. Head stays in line with your spine. Always. Back stays straight. In three, two, one, break. Ooh, another Ooh. good, basically total body move here. Loving these compound moves today. Here we go. In two, one, begin. This one's working your hamstrings, your glutes, quadriceps, lower back, upper back, core, all working together to make this one happen. Keep it going. Big power on every rep. They don't call it a power pull for nothing. Two, one, break. Excellent, that's two Ooh. down, two to go. Couple of deep breaths here and let's get it going. And Come on. And two, one, begin. Everything you got right here, big power. You're a powerhouse, power factory. Let's see what you got. Make it happen. Come on, tribe, let's go. You versus you. It's all in your head, all about that mental toughness today. Three, two, one, break. Excellent. Everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die first. Everybody wants to be in great <laughs> shape, but nobody wants to put in the work. All right, let's begin, tribe, now. Not you, not today. You're putting in that work to get those results. Let's see it. Focus on what brought you here today. Focus on what motivates you, what it's gonna take to get there. All right, tribe, in three, two, one, Break. Excellent, okay, we need both dumbbells again for the next one, a little combo move here. We're gonna do a balance, one leg balance, curl plus Arnold press. So those palms are up, on the way up, perform a curl, and then twist those palms forward as you press overhead and back down. All right, let's get it going. In three, two, one, zero. So palms up, twist them as we press overhead, and then reverse it. Focusing on balance on this one. Focus your eyes on something. That's it, find a focal point that'll help you maintain that balance. If you're just not feeling the one leg variation, you can put that leg down and just perform the curl plus press. And three, two, one, and break. Whew, excellent. Okay, we're gonna switch legs on this next one. So get ready for that. Here we go, beginning in three, two, one, Begin. Excellent. You're gonna see, we're not perfect on this either. It's not about being perfect. It's just about putting in that work and getting a little bit better every workout. Talk about a brain workout too, my That's goodness. It. Well, especially when you're fatigued, it makes it just that much harder to balance. Definitely. And three, two, one, break. Excellent, okay, again, halfway, two down, two to go, switching it up, opposite leg yet again here. And three, two, one, begin. Keep a soft bend in that knee or that of that leg that's on the ground. Don't have it hyperextended and locked out. Again, find something to focus on, somewhere to keep your eyes. Don't be looking around the room. It'll make it just that much harder. And three, two, one break. Whew. All right. All right. One last, last one. one here. <laughs> Let's see if we can get through it without falling. That's right. And three, two, one. Let's start this last round. Come on, working on that balance. Again, getting a lot of work in a short period of time today. Everything from endurance, strength, balance, mobility, checking off all the boxes today. Whew. You know how we roll around here. That's it. And whatever you do, do not hold your breath. And two, one, and break. Excellent job. All right, we only need one dumbbell for the next one, and I'm gonna actually up my weight a little bit for As this one. As am I. We're gonna do a rotational goblet squat. So hold that one dumbbell by the top end, feet are shoulder width apart, weight goes back in your hips, break at the knees, and as we come up, we're gonna rotate from side 
to side, back down, rotate to that opposite side. We're pivoting that outside leg. Let's get it going. You know the drill by now, tribe. And three, two, one, begin. Weight back in your hips till they get parallel to the ground. And as you come up, go ahead and start that rotation. Don't wait until you get to the very top to rotate, but instead be rotating the whole way up. Again, making sure to breathe, choosing a weight that you feel comfortable with. And three, two, one, and break. Excellent. This one's in your, hitting your hamstrings, glutes, quadriceps, as well core. as your core. Yep. All at the same time. All right, let's get started. In two, one, begin. Again, how many can you get? One rep right into the next. Keep it cranking here. Come on, let's go. It's you versus you. Don't stop when it hurts. Stop when you're done. Come on, let's go. What did you come here for? And three, two, one, break. Excellent. Two down, two to go. <sighs> Give those legs a little shake if you need to, but not, not breaking. All right, three, two, one, begin the third round. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, Asfit Tribe. Where are you at? We're right there with you, feeling that burn with you, rep by rep. Every repetition is getting you just that much closer to your goals. And three, two, one, break. Excellent. One more. That's it right here, fighting to the end. Fighting to the very end, last one, here we go. Getting ready, getting ready. And two, one, begin. Let's do it, make a count. Push yourself, nobody else is gonna do it for you. That's right. Whether you're trying to lose weight, gain muscle, just get in better shape and kick butt at life. Whatever it is, stay focused on that why. Not much longer. And three, two, one, break. Excellent. Okay, we're moving to the floor for the next one. I'm going a little bit lighter. Um, we're getting into a plank position. I'm going to get into a bear plank position with that one dumbbell. I'm going to uh, actually come up off of my knees onto my feet. And you notice I'm in a plank from my knees position. Now from here, we're gonna do a back raise, pull back on the dumbbell, and then we're gonna do a front raise, come forward on that dumbbell. Back, front, switching sides after every round. Let's get it going. And three, two, one, begin. Nice and controlled. Trying to keep your shoulders square to the floor. Making sure to breathe. Get those abs engaged. Pulling back. This one's working your legs, your abs, your core, your upper back, your Three, shoulders. Two, one, break. All at the same time. Didn't mean to cut you off, but that 20 seconds right. was coming up. <laughs> I didn't want to do any extra time either. <laughs> don't feel don't don't apologize. Alright, two, one, begin. Already feeling this one after just the first set. I'm like, nobody wants to do this any longer than they have to, Coach Kozak. Alright, that's how we know it's working. One into the next. Keep that arm straight. That has the dumbbell. And that arm that's on the ground, keep a slight bend in it. And two, one, break. Ah, excellent. Whew. Two down, two to go. We got it. I got a little pool of sweat going here. That's okay. Nobody ever drowned in a pool of their own sweat. And begin. Making sure to breathe. Do not hold your breath. Come on, let's go, let's go, Hasfit Tribe. We're right there with you. Thousands, maybe millions at home, feeling that same burn, that same pain you're feeling. And three, two, one, break. Excellent. Last one, one guys. Last one. You got this, tribe. Come on. Prove it to yourself right here. All right. In three, two, one, begin. I want you to exceed your own expectations today. Not for anyone else, but for you. Just getting a little bit better. So you can be more fit than you ever thought possible. Right here, right now, putting in the work. And four, three, two, one, break. Ah, excellent job. Okay, we're gonna be up on our feet for the next one and we only need one dumbbell yet. Again, I'm gonna go a little bit heavier. We're gonna do an upward chop. Feet are shoulder width apart. We're gonna interlace those fingers around that one dumbbell. Make sure you're holding it tight. Slight bend in those knees. We're gonna swing the dumbbell through the legs and then big power, upward chop, overhead, hips come forward. Control the way down. 
big power up. So the chop and the acceleration is on the way up, not the way down. All right, let's get it going in three, two, one, and zero. And this one, it's like we're trying to throw that dumbbell behind us, but hold on tight and don't let go. Big power on the way up. Think of that lowering phase, like you're loading, and then boom, it explodes up. Boom, explode up. Three, two, one, break. Excellent, another good power move here. Man. These power moves really get your heart rate up. You got all that power in your hips. Use it. All right, here we go. And two, one, begin. That's it. This one's gonna work your hamstrings, your glutes, little quadriceps, lower back, upper back, and abs, all working together. Come on, let's go. Big power has for tribe. Every time, squeeze those glutes. Three. Oh, up at the top. Two, one, break. Excellent. Two down, two to go. Halfway point. Just a couple of deep breaths here, and we're right back into it. Let's begin in two, one, begin. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. What you got right here? Proving it to yourself. Every repetition, getting you just that much closer to your goals. Exhale as you bring that dumbbell and chop it over your head. That's it, breathing on the way down. I'm sorry, breathing in on the way down and exhaling on the way up. And break. All right, last one, one last one, come on. Switch up your weight if you need to, but don't stop. Don't hit that pause button. All right, guys, we are beginning in three, two, one. Let's do it. Come on. Last 20 seconds. I want you to picture your goals, picture everything you want at the top of that staircase. In every rep, you're getting one step closer. It may be really far up there, but day in and day out, you're putting in the work, doing what you gotta three, do to accomplish that goal. Two, one and break nice job all right set that dumbbell down and we're moving to the floor no weights needed for the next one we are going to do a sprinter starting sitting on your backside. let's go ahead and lean back on a 45 degree angle we're going to move opposite arm and leg together i'm going to keep my legs up and i rest my feet back down you decide which variation is right for you it's a killer ab move let's get it going in three two one begin so opposite arm and leg are working together. Try to keep those elbows bent at a 90 degree angle, straightening those legs out every time. You decide if you wanna rest them down or keep them up in between. Three, two, one, break. Excellent work, okay. One down, three to go. Again, it's an overall great ab move. All right, and we're starting in three, two, one, Begin. Let's do it. If you're finding this one, it's too easy for you. It's probably because you're not leaning back on that 45 degree angle. So you can't be up here, but instead make sure you're leaning back and it's gonna keep those abs under tension throughout the whole move. And three, two, one, break. Excellent job. Okay, two down, two to go. Getting those abs firing. Ours are burning just like yours. And three, two, one, let's go. Let's do it, come on. How many can you get? Right here, Hasfit Tribe. Making sure to breathe. Let's go, don't hold your breath. You will regret it. If you start off with my variation and you need to switch to Claudius, that's okay too. Three, two, one, break. Ooh, that burn, burn so good. Burn so good. Almost there, almost there. Last one, Hasfit Tribe, last one. And three, <coughs> two, one, let's go. You got it right here, come on. Everything you got, last one. Pull it all out there. Finish those abs off with this one, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Big deep breaths, don't hold your breath. Almost there, almost there. Whew, I'm burning too. And three, two, one, break. Oh, all right. Let's grab one dumbbell for the next one. We're moving into an archer press. So we're gonna get into a high plank position to start. I'm gonna be up on my feet. And I'm gonna be on my knees. And from this high plank position, we're actually gonna turn to our side. Now, let's roll that dumbbell up and then keeping that elbow in, we're gonna just press half and half on each side. And three, two, 
One, let's do it. You, you notice I have my knee on the ground and I have my top leg out. So you decide if you want that one knee down for a little support or if you want to be up on both feet. Either way, it's getting that core engaged throughout the move. Keep your eyes on that dumbbell. And three, two, one, and break. Excellent, okay, we're switching sides. Same move, just flip over to that opposite side. Up, getting into position here, not much time. And begin. And let's hit it. This one's working your triceps, shoulders, chest, core, all working together. Again, no shame in dropping a knee down if you need to, or switching up your weight if you need to. Five seconds, guys. Here we go, and three, two, one, break. Whew. Two down, two to go. Come on, flipping it, flipping it, flipping it. I know Here you guys is. don't look as silly as us flipping, but that's all right. <laughs> and two, one, begin. It's not about what you look like, that's it's true. about those results. Come on, let's go, come on. Doesn't matter how slow you're moving, still laughing at everybody on the couch who isn't trying. Come on. You're always good for some motivation. Hey, that's my and positivity. job. Positivity. Come on, keep them moving, everybody. And three, two, one, break. Whew. It's working. Ooh. I can feel it working. Come on. It's all mental at this point, not even physical. It's all in your head. Come on. Three, two, one, begin. We're not only training our muscles, but we're working on that mental toughness. That's right. Any sane person would have quit by now, but who wants to be sane? Come on. If you want to be average, you want to be normal, then you go ahead and quit. If, you, if that's all you want. But if you want to be special, you want to be extra. And three, put two, it on right here. One, break. All right, we're back up onto our feet. I'm going to use two dumbbells for this next one. And I'm doing no dumbbells at all. We're going to do a squat plus front kick and punch. Hands are by our chin. Let's start with a front squat, weight back on our hips, full squat. And as we stand up, opposite side leg and arm are working together. Now squat, opposite side arm and leg, punching and kicking as you come up. Let's get it going here. You decide if you want weights or not. In three, two, one, begin. Full range of motion on that squat, punch and kick. Now, if your kicks aren't quite as high as ours, that's okay. Make it happen. Make it work for you. And ideally, you're already starting that punching kick as you're coming up. Three, two, one, break. Excellent. Okay. One down, three to go. Grab a couple of deep breaths here for this total body move, and let's do it again. Two, one, begin. Again, you choose a weight that's appropriate for you. Or if you need to drop the dumbbells for this one, that's cool too. There's never any shame in dropping a weight if you need to. That's it, just keep it moving. That's right. Getting a little bit better every workout. Getting better together, right here. And three, two, one, break. Ah, that's it. Two down, two to go. My shoulders are burning, my legs are burning. You're not alone, has fit tribe. And three, two, one, let's go. Everything you got right here, come on. Putting it all out there. Finishing strong all the way to the end. Right here, right here. Come on. What did you come here for? Focus on it. What's that why? Five seconds. Three, two, one, break. One, one more. That's it. One, one last one. You got this. Come on. Those who believe they can, <sighs> those who believe they can't are both right. Which one are you? Right and here. go. Last one on this last one. Put it all out there. Come on, come on, come on. Really pushing the pace. Come on, put it all out there. Don't save anything. How many can you get? Almost there. And three, two, one, break. Excellent job. All right, if you're using dumbbells, you can go ahead and set them down for the next one. We don't need them, but we're moving to the floor. Gonna do a lying bicycle next. So another great core move coming at you, lying down on our backs. We're gonna bring opposite elbow to opposite knee, and I'm gonna keep my feet up in between repetitions. And I'm gonna rest my feet back down. You decide which one's right for you. Let's burn out those abs together. In three, two, one, let's go. Try to keep that lower back glued to the floor. Don't allow it to come up. 
going opposite elbow to opposite knee. Don't crank on that neck, but instead force those abs to take over. Here we go. In three, two, one, break. Such an old school ab move, but boy, is this one effective. It is so good. Even to this day. One of my favorites. In three, two, one, begin. Let's go right here. Again, this is that point in the workout where it's all mental, not even physical anymore. It's all about that mental toughness. Not just improving our ab strength, but our mental strength as well. Right. If you can get through this, you can do anything. And in three, two, one, break. Oh, goodness gracious. Two down, two to go. That's right here, tribe. That's fit tribe. Come on. Stay tough. Stay tough. And three, two, one, begin. Come on. Finishing strong. Don't think about that burn. Instead, I want you to think about how good you're gonna feel when this workout is all done. And you can cross this off your list and go about the rest of your day. Keep breathing, keep moving. In three, two, one, and break. Whew. Oh, goodness Burn so good. One more. That's it, right here, come on. Last one. Let's finish it together, tribe. Let's finish it together. And two, one, begin. Everything you got on this last one. Come on. Finishing strong right here. You're almost there. In it together. Fighting through that burn. Come on, you're stronger than that burn. Don't listen to it. You want to set those legs down? Don't. Three, two, one, break. All right. We're staying on the floor for this next one, but we are going to need two dumbbells little combo move here. We're gonna do a dumbbell tricep extension plus hip up. So let's start with those feet down flat, heels nice and close to your glutes. And let's start with those elbows bent at a 90 degree angle. At the same time, we're gonna extend your arms, drive off the heels, perform a hip up and straighten your arms. So driving off those heels, squeezing your glutes and squeezing your triceps up at the top. Let's do it together. And three, two, one, Begin. Another compound move here. This one's working your hamstrings, your glutes, as well as your triceps, all at the same time. You want to exhale as you push through your heels and get those dumbbells up above your head. That's it, and inhaling on the way down. So as a rule of thumb, you're always exhaling on the and hardest part break. of the move. That's true. So one down, three to go. Again, in it together here. In three, two, one, begin. Let's do it. Keep fighting, tribe. Keep fighting. What do you got right here? Come on. Don't stop when it hurts. We're going to stop when we're done. How many of these can you get? We should be feeling this one in your backside, not in your quads. And if you're feeling it more in your quads, then come up onto those heels and try to bring those toes off of the floor. And break. Excellent. Okay. Two down, two to go right Halfway here. Halfway point. It's flying by. You made it this far. Finish strong. And come on. two, one, begin. Everything you got, last two sets right here, come on. One into the next. If you need to adjust your weight, feel free to do so, but don't stop. Come on, keep it going. Squeeze those glutes up at the top of every repetition. And three, two, one, break. Excellent job. That's three down already. Just one last one, that's one it. One more. Come on, tribe, right here, right now. And Let's three, do it. two, one, begin. Come on, you got it. Let's go. Coming back, repeating this workout every time you do, you're getting a little bit better, getting a few more reps in, using a little bit more weight, just overall improvement. Five more seconds. Come on, finish strong. In three, two, one, break. That's it, okay, one last one, everyone. Let's grab one dumbbell for this one. We're doing a knee chop. I'm actually gonna lose my dumbbell for this one. You decide if you want it or not. I'm gonna grab my dumbbell on either end, starting in a staggered stance. Let's put your arms straight up and we're gonna bring that dumbbell or just your hands to your knee and chop. Boom, and chop. So squeezing our abs as they come together. Let's go, switching sides halfway through and three. Two, one, begin. Analogy I like to use on this one is like you got a water watermelon and you're trying to break it over your knee. Ooh, good one. Big power, step back, bring that leg up and crunch down every time. Get those abs involved yet again. Big power. And three, two, one, break. 
That's it. One down, three to go. We're Switch sides. That's it. Switching your lead leg on this one. Let's and down, go this way. <laughs> Two, one, begin. Trying to stay the same here. Whew. Keeping your balance. Even if you're slipping and sliding in a pool of sweat like me, <laughs> just keep going here. Extend those arms overhead every time. Big power down. Come on. Everything you got. And three, two, one, break. That's it. Okay. Two down. Two to go. That's it, Tribe. Whew. Come on. Finish strong. And three, two, one, begin. In it to win it Let's right go. here. Everything you want, all of your goals, all your dreams lay on the other side of this workout. Don't give up. Just keep fighting. Come on. You're a fighter, not a quitter. Let's see it right here. Come on, prove it to yourself. Let's see. In three, it. two, one, break. Whew. That's it. One last one right here, tribe. Come on. You got it. You got it. You got it. And three, two, one, begin. Let's do it. Fighting together. Come on. What do you got? Put it all out there. No quit in you. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Almost there. So close. Boom. Boom. Big power. Big power. And five seconds. That's it. And three, two, one, and break. Ah, that's it. Whoo, you made it. Set that weight down if you're using it. Couple big deep breaths here. <sighs> and we're gonna move to the floor and we're gonna start our cool down. Come down nice and slow. Ah, moving into Whew. a figure four. And the purpose of our cool down is to allow our, our heart rates to come down slowly. And at the same time, we're get, gaining a little added mobility, flexibility work in here. <sighs> All right. And as you can see, we're catching our breath too. This is real, <laughs> folks. No movie magic around here. <laughs> movie magic, I wish. <laughs> right? That'd be nice. I know. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and lie back on our backs. Moving into a figure four. Let's take our right leg, bring it up and on the top of our left leg. We're gonna reach through our legs, pull that knee towards us. This is gonna loosen up our back, hamstrings, IT band, hips, uh, piriformis. I don't know, there's so many different little muscles getting hit on this one. Pull it towards you and just hold. It's just a static stretch. Anytime we do any of these static stretches, you're trying to bring it to about 85, 90% of what you're capable of. Feeling a good stretch, but you don't want to feel pain. Big, deep breaths here. Allowing that heart rate to come down. Let's switch sides in three, two, one, zero. Bring it down. Opposite leg up. Reaching through and pull. Ooh, my left hip is definitely a little bit tighter. I know, which is why I'm delaying. <laughs> See, I'm going to have to grab underneath my knee. And you can do that as well. Just make it work for you, or if you just need to actually grab that foot and that leg itself, you can do so. Again, make it all of these little moves work for you, your fitness level, and your needs. Focus on nice, big, deep breaths. Bringing that heart rate down. Did a lot of work today. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. Okay, let's go ahead and stretch out those quadriceps next. Moving into what's called a sprinter stretch. So let's take our right leg, our right foot, and bring that right foot back. A couple different variations on this one, depending on your flexibility level. You can have that right leg out to the side, or you can actually tuck that right foot underneath, a little more like Claudia's variation. And then if you want, you can come back on uh, and lean back on your arms. Or if you're feeling more flexible, you can come all the way down. Again, you decide what's right for you. Uh, after today's workout, this is about right for me. <laughs> I was going to say, wow, I'm impressed. You're going all the way down, Coach Kozak. Yeah, well, after that workout today, this is a good, healthy spot for me. <laughs> Again, it's about learning your own body, understanding what feels good, and what a good amount of stretch is for you. Nice, big, deep breaths here. Even in this position, I can feel some stretch in my arms, too. Well, yeah, a little added benefit there. We'll call that extra credit, That's as right. usual. That's right. For five, four, three, two, one. Come on up. And you know the drill by now. Let's switch sides. Opposite leg. Pull that left leg back. And again, you may find that one side is more or less flexible than the other. Totally calm and nothing to be alarmed about. It's a good time in the workout just to take a second to 
be proud of what you achieved today. You know, being fit were easy, everybody be fit, but we all know that is not the case. It takes a lot of hard work, a lot of discipline, day in and day out. A lot of consistency. Consistency, patience. Wow, well, patience is a hard one for a lot of us, myself included. So we just want to take a second to lift you up and appreciate you for putting in the work today. We are proud of you. For three, two, one, zero. Come on up. All right, we can rise up onto our feet for the next one. Let's get a couple upper body stretches. Come on up slowly. Don't want you passing out on us. Let's do a posterior shoulder stretch next. So with our right arm, let's bring that right arm across our body and grab it with our left arm. Keep those shoulders square so don't actually roll, roll your body while you do it but keep that shoulder back and let's pull that arm in nice and tight too so your stretch may look more like this depending on your flexibility that's okay again make it work for you just don't allow yourself to roll that shoulder inward just hold and breathe here again trying to get to about 85 90 percent of what you're capable of for three two one zero let it down stretch it out opposite side now and again keep that shoulder locked and locked back as we pull that arm across the body it's a great one if you have any shoulder impingements or any shoulder pain from you know from your posture to the way you sleep a good one just to incorporate into your daily routine for five four three two one zero let it come on down one last move let's move into a chest opener we're going to interlace those fingers behind our backs and then we're going to pull those shoulders back as we drive that chest forward and then bring those hands up now for some added stretch if you'd like not necessary but if you'd like you can even bend over and let those arms come up overhead totally optional you decide if that's right for you today Again, just taking a moment here to take a nice, big, deep breath. Feel good about getting this workout done, crossing this off your list. No matter what the rest of your day brings, your workout is done and you can feel good and accomplished about that. Because I know I do. Hey, I so feel- thank you for joining us. <laughs> exactly, we feel, we feel the same way when we get our workouts done. For three, two, one, zero. Relax, shake them loose, and that's it. You made it, Claudia, you made it. And high five to you out there. Nice work. Thank you for working out with us today. We'd ask that you please support our mission of keeping these great workouts free. You can do so by downloading our free app. It's available for both iOS and Android. You can also stop by our store, pick up some HazFit gear, or our diet guide, Eating for Life. And we know that you enjoy this routine with us today, so we please ask that you give it a big thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button so you never miss another brand new routine from HasFit. Yeah, and thank you so much for pushing yourself and working your butt off with us today. We really appreciate it. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.